the first application we'll be taking a look at is AppyGeek. Um, this is a news application. It's just not like a general news application. This is this application is there dedicated especially to tech news. So here you have the top news. Um, this displays um, all the different kind of technology news, whether it's to do with Android computers or just anything that's related to technology. You also have all news. So you could view um, all the news stories. You could organize it by dates, um, by the comments or by the views. And this is just a great way to organize it. And also, if you don't want to go through all of these um, news stories, you could go to My News, and here you could add like specific um, topics that you want. Say we've got Android Market, so this is everything to do with Android. Then you've got Google. This is everything to do with Google. It's just a really nice way to organize all your news. And uh, this is a really uh, great app if you're just looking to organize your tech news. And you can pick this up free from the Android Marketplace. The next application we're taking a look at is Chainsaw um, Bunny. It does have like a little story mode. It tells you that there was some kind of explosion, nuclear explosion, and people, ordinary people, turn into zombies and stuff. And it starts spreading. And then there's a bunny with a chainsaw and a mask. You just have to try to fight your way through it. And you got here the bunny hair is on like a slingshot, and you just have to try to fire it up. Just get it up. You can see like got a little clock thing here, and you just have to try to tap it. And it flings it up. You just have to try, like, hitting the zombies and aiming for these exp uh, the TNT or explosions to get as far as you possible. The further you get, the more points you get, and the more um, money you get at the top. So it's still a pretty good application. The graphics are very simple and and well done. Nothing too special about the graphics, but it's really good, and the gameplay is good as well. Really entertaining. And you do have to kind of make sure you get the first shot kind of as far as you can to get the most points anyway you can pick this up free from the Android marketplace the next application we're taking a look at is hooked and hooked is um, an application that recommends you games and the way it does that is it goes through your phone and searches for all the games that are installed on your phone and then when you first launch the application it will ask you whether you like or dislike the game and then it uses that information to recommend you um, different games that you can get from the Android marketplace here we've got like some of the um, games that they recommended and these are the applications that I haven't yet rated yet the games I haven't rated yet so you could rate if you like or dislike it and then you could have a view the most liked one so if you go into here it shows you like the percentage of people who liked it so 95% people liked Angry Birds and for all the other different games as well and it also has the most played so so wait for that to load up. You can see like different games, how long people have spent playing on them. Maybe they've just played it for like two minutes and just closed it or something. But this actually shows you that they've stayed on this um, certain game the longest, which could mean it might be enjoyable. But anyway, this is a really good application if you're just looking to discover new games um, that are on the Android Marketplace and you can pick this up free. This application we're taking a look at is Death Assault and um, this game is very simple you're just uh, walking along and you have the button to jump and to fire and you just have to keep shooting different enemies so if you've got here you've got like a shotgun you jump over the obstacles and you have different stuff that you can collect so you have machine guns I think you've got lasers in here as well which is really cool you do have three laps at the top and then you have the distance you've uh, traveled the longer distance you get um, the more points you get. Um, the game itself is really good, the gameplay does get slightly repetitive and the graphics are kinda simple, there's nothing really special about the graphics but still it's a really good uh, game for you to check out and you can pick this up free from the Android Marketplace. Um, okay the next application we're taking a look at is Music Tapping and it's very similar to Tap Tap Revenge if you've ever played it before and you just have to try hit um, the records exactly in sync to where it gets down to the point down here. It's really simple. You do have music playing in the background, which is really cool. You could have different tracks. I think you could download um, additional tracks. But um, the application is really good and it's well polished off. And you could really hit the notes accurately as well. Just going to play through this level quickly and just show you how it's like. You do have to be a bit fast when you're doing these levels. This is uneasy, but 
not very good at it but you get the general idea of the application and you can pick this up free from the Android marketplace and the next application we're taking a look at is ice cream sandwich launcher you can pick this up free from the marketplace and what it is it's just like a um, ice cream sandwich launcher it's got the same menu buttons the the menu itself is a little bit different you normally scroll across but this is where you could go up and down let's go back you got the button here to take you to the multitask menu but um, unfortunately you can't like close application by dragging it across or anything like that you could only switch between applications using that and you also have the back button as, a, as well which I think you could go back to test it out yeah it works pretty fine but like I noticed when you go into the menu and you go back the screen goes blank for a second and then it appears which is which isn't really good but you also have a search uh, menu up here and it's just really really like the um, ice cream sandwich launcher it's really basic there's no really uh, features from the actual ice cream sandwich uh, itself but but it's still a really good uh, launcher to try and you can pick this up free from the marketplace the next application we are taking a look at is sprinkle and this is a really good uh, application where you just have to spray water to put at the fire and to stop like the people's houses from burning down you got a bunch of different levels this is the paid version but I believe there's now a free version that you can get you just have to try put out the water before the house is burned down you do have a limited supply of water it shows you at the bottom here how much is left and you just have to try use as little water as possible to get the most amount of points go you can actually move like the head of it by scrolling across like that then if you could see and move it up and down like that and just spray the water like the graphics are really good the water animation and everything is really good let's try to put the fire before it burns down the house you get the general idea of it it's a really good um, application and you could go pick this up free from the android marketplace the last thing we're going to be taking a look at is a live wallpaper. We're just going to load up the live wallpaper. The live wallpaper we're going to be taking a look at is this one. It's a really nice um, ice cream sandwich live wallpaper. It's got a blank screen. Okay, we've got the red, the pink, the yellow, and you've got these like, little dots floating around, and you can interact with them. It's a really simple um, ice cream sandwich live wallpaper. Um, it's going to take a look at one more live wallpaper. There's a little bonus. I think it's this one. I have the names of it um, in the description. But you have it there. And if you tap on the anywhere like in the sky, you see like a little star up here, which is really nice. And you've got like the house in the background with the lights, the snow, the moon, and everything, which is really good. And you can pick this up free from the marketplace. And that's about it for the video. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, leave your comments below, recommend me some applications for the next video, and subscribe if you like my work. Thanks for watching. Next application we do.